Bye, guys. Happy little day. Today. Now, welcome to another episode of... Oh, man, these crowds suck. Guys, the freaks are going to scare Mitsuki away again. She's going to stop again. She's going to get scared away because there's too many freaks at a concert who are just allergic to reading the room. I've been seeing so many videos of people just acting like animals at her shows. Like, literal animals. Like, like meowing. Lots of people meowing, lots of people catcalling her, lots of people calling her mommy. Sometimes she'll respond to these people and respectfully just shut them down. I'm not your mother. I've also seen a lot of people talking about how the audience will literally laugh at her because of her stage performance, which I find so wild. Especially because you're going to a headline show to see Mitski. Like, you are going to see Mitski. And even if you haven't seen her before, like, you would think that people would respect her enough to, like, just not laugh at her, right? Like, you love her music. You're a fan of her. Why would you laugh at her? I've only seen her once. I saw her at a festival. And I hadn't really listened to her that much at that point. But because of her stage performance, because of how uniquely, like, thoughtful and expressive all of her movements were, it just made me want to check out our music so much more. It literally felt like I was watching an art piece, like a literal piece of art, like an art full piece happening. It was really cool. What the hell? But unfortunately, this isn't the first time that Mitski has had to deal with disrespectful crowds and just a disrespectful fan base in general. She already took a step away from touring in 2019, and this seemed like it was a lot more for the reason that she'd been literally nonstop touring for five years. Like, she even said in her statement that she just didn't have a home as a result of constantly touring. When you're just on the road that much for five years, like, yeah, anyone's gonna want to take a break. But then in a statement that came out later around the time that she was coming back from her hiatus, she said that a bigger reason why she ended up taking a break was because she was just tired of the super saturated consumerism that comes with working in the music industry. And during this hiatus, her music went really, really viral on TikTok, especially her song Nobody. In 2021, that song was like huge. So then a year later in 2022, this is like three years after she announced her hiatus, she decided to come back and release more music and she announced her new album, Laurel Hell. And when she was touring that album, there's also a lot of conversation going around online about how disrespectful her crowds were. And a lot of the comments on these videos are pretty ironic, like Misky fans when people want to have fun chronically online misky fans when people enjoy themselves at a concert but i'm like where's the fun you mean the fun like the calling your mommy when the room is dead silent fun is that the fun is it the laughing like are you having the fun because you're laughing at her is that the fun oh i'm sorry is that the fun? Like, who's the chronically online one? Which one's the fun? And around this time, Mitski also opened for Harry Styles on his tour. Crazy opportunity. Huge, right? But in reality, a lot of these crowds at these bigger arena shows were just, like, talking over her and laughing during her set. You can really hear it in this video. concept of people talking over her and being disrespectful when she's opening for someone like Harry Styles who's playing these big arena stadium shows I wouldn't necessarily blame that on like the younger generation in the TikTok crowds you know what I mean it's a tale as old as time that people just are disrespectful to openers like this isn't just a TikTok thing so I just wanted to put that out there because I think there's a lot of conversation of people blaming like how disrespectful people are to Mitski solely on TikTok and although I think that is a big factor in it. I think when it's something like, oh, people are talking over her at the festival or at the Harry Styles show, that's kind of just how people have always treated openers, which sucks. I think it's a miracle if people are nice to you and attentive to your set when you're opening for a band, especially when it's a band as big as like an arena selling out show, a stadium selling out show. Like someone like Harry Styles, the demographic of people who are going to these bigger shows, like they just 
kind of want to go see Harry. Or maybe they want to see Mitski and Harry, but like most of the people there aren't really looking to discover new music. They're just there to hang out and watch Harry Styles. You could trace this back like forever. I think an example I can think of off the top of my head is in the 90s when Deftones was opening for Kiss the band did an interview and they said that it was just like a miserable time like the people who were there to see kiss were so blatantly rude to them like literally flipping them off during their set and like booing them and screaming like F you at them anyway around the time that she was doing the laurel hell tour she had addressed behavior at her shows not people laughing and screaming but more just people filming she deleted the post on twitter but basically what she said was like hey you know i get it phones are a big part of our lives i take photos at concerts too i don't take them with flash but like i get it i just wanted to put it out there that maybe like if you guys could not film entire songs we could all just be in the moment a little bit more together and it could make us all feel like we're really here with each other but ultimately your experience you are free to enjoy that however you want i just wanted to put that out there that is literally in a nutshell what she said. She was super respectful about it. And the pushback from her fans around this time was like insane. Like people were literally in their replies like trauma dumping on her. And at the end of the day, unfortunately, people didn't really listen to her request. A lot of people did in the replies like feel like it was valid and were like, oh, it's really not that big of a deal. Like, I don't know why people are so mad about this. But at the end of the day, a lot of people just did not care at all about what she had to say like i just don't know what's up with her fans sometimes like she doesn't even know what's up with her fans sometimes she's addressed it before in interviews she did this interview with this magazine about like her reacting to posts about herself and literally the first thing out of her mouth was about how her social media manager gets threats in his emails telling him to put mitski back online which ultimately literally makes her want to go online less like that is what she said and i bet all these videos going around of people being disrespectful at her concerts probably makes her want to go online a little less guys i don't know and this was two years ago this wasn't even post massive viral tiktok song that happened really recently my love mine on mine from her newest album over two million videos on TikTok. I'm telling you this, like to put it in perspective, nobody like a fraction of the virality of this one. And that song was pretty big on TikTok, like 500,000 videos to it. But this song really just exploded. So I wouldn't be surprised if the increase of like rude, disrespectful people is a result of this massive moment. It sucks because more people are being disrespectful to her, but at least there is more conversation around, hey guys, like stop. And I really hate to blame it on the younger audience because I think younger audiences are not the only ones who are disrespectful in crowds by any means. And I think that a lot of people like to just write it off as like, oh, it's just the TikTok crowd. And it's just not. Like older people are also really disrespectful and closed minded to new music. But from the sound of these videos and the person, especially the person like meowing and like catcalling Misky, like it sounds like a child. Like a lot of these people do sound like literal children. Like I don't see a 30, 35 year old person going to the Misky show and yelling mommy at her. Like I just don't see someone like over the hill going to her show and like meowing at her. Like I just don't. I don't think that's the case here. I think it might it might be the TikTok crowd here, guys. I think some of these might be the TikTok crowd. Now, if you've been to one of my live shows, you're probably thinking, yeah, Devin, that's real rich coming from you. This video is real rich. As if you don't go and tell your whole audience to bark at you like a dog during your shows, at least as if you don't go in there and point at people and say, you're not barking loud enough. You're not barking loud enough. I want to hear the big dog. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is there a bunch of little dogs in here? I want to hear the big dogs. I want to hear you bark. I want to hear you scream. Real rich coming from you because you tell everyone to bark at you like an animal and now everyone goes to meow at the Mitski show and all of a sudden you have a problem with it. Well, yeah, because I'm like telling people to bark like a dog. Like I'm inviting that type of behavior. I'm encouraging people to just freak out at my shows because it's fun. But the vibe of a Mitski show is so clearly different. Like it's so easy to read the room and be like, oh, maybe I shouldn't act like an absolute 
animal. Like it's as if people are allergic to reading the room now, or they are reading the room and they are purposely going against the tone of the room to sort of upstage the performer. It's just not enough to be an audience member anymore. And I think this is a direct result of TikTok because people know if they are just like going against the grain with the tone of the room and saying something ridiculous and obnoxious in the middle of a silent moment that someone's going to record it and someone's going to film it and it's probably going to go viral. It's like, despite all the negative attention that it's clearly going to bring, there's still something enticing to these people's twisted minds about being able to be that person that's like, oh yeah, I was the one meowing at the Mitski show. You see those videos? Yeah, that was me. Like, kind of like how people will murder people to like get on TV. Like, I feel like that's kind of what's happening here. So yeah, people just don't know how to act anymore. On a similar note, something pretty serious happened at one of my shows recently when I was opening for the Plain White Tees a few weeks ago. An audience member somehow brought a hammer into the venue and threw it at me during my performance. <laughs> It was pretty embarrassing because everyone laughed at me and made me mess up so I couldn't really sing good anymore because I was just too nervous because everyone just thought it was funny that someone threw a hammer at me, which I thought was really weird. Right in the middle of my new song too. Um, so I'm actually making a longer video about this experience. It's coming out a week from today. So stay tuned for that. Also got a new song coming out this Friday, February 9th. And while I'm at it, oh, you like this shirt? Pretty cool shirt. Oh, you're probably thinking, that's a really cool shirt. Where'd you get that shirt? Um, it's only my new cool shirt. It's also coming out Friday, February 9th on my website. Gonna put these for sale on my website this Friday, February 9th. A lot of them. I wanted to do another merch drop because the last time I did one, you guys sold it out really, really quickly. So I'm over here like, yeah, I gotta come up with a new shirt. Anyway, what do you guys think of all this? It's not good. It's what I think. I'm thinking, guys, don't meow. Come on, you're meowing? Like, shut up. I'm surprised this girl didn't get bonked in the head. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, just give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. I do a bunch of different stuff on here now. You know, ooh, sometimes if something comes up, I want to talk about it. Why don't I just talk about it? Oh, if I want to make a song without being able to hear it the entire time, why don't I just do that? Ooh, that's fun. Got a variety show going over here. A one woman show, a one woman variety show over on this channel. Do a bunch of weird stuff on this channel. Video next week is something totally different than anything I've ever done before. Weird stuff. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned because uh, I don't know. You got this far in the video. Thank you guys. I hope you have a great day and a nice night. Tonight.